welcome back to my channel and welcome to my huge Christmas decor haul. I already did a part one where I showed you everything that I got at Hobby Lobby, which was a ton of stuff. That's why it got its own separate part. And today I'm going to be sharing everything that I got at TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Kirkland's, Amazon, Walmart, and Cracker Barrel. I picked up some ornaments there and I'm super excited to share everything with you all. If you are new here today, welcome. My name is Sarah and I love making tons of shop with me videos home decorating and seasonal decorating. So if that is stuff that you are interested in, I would love for you to join my YouTube family by hitting that subscription button down below. And I have so much planned for this Christmas decorating season that you are not going to want to miss. So if you want to make sure that you don't miss out on anything, be sure to hit that notification bell and you will be notified as soon as I upload a new video. So we're going to go ahead and dive right into this haul today. And the first thing that I wanted to share with you all is I am getting a new Christmas tree from King of Christmas. I am so excited. I've been wanting a tree from them for so long and they are going to be gifting me one this year, but I wanted to go ahead and share it in this haul video so you all can see what it looks like. It hasn't come in yet, so I'm just going to pop in a picture from their website. It's going to be right here, but I ended up going with the queen flocked seven and a half foot that is pre-lit and it is so beautiful. I've seen several other YouTubers use their trees and they look absolutely amazing. So I cannot wait to get mine in and share it with you all. But if you all are interested in checking them out, I'm going to leave a link in the description box down below and you can go take a look at the amazing trees that they have on their website. And they also have a super cool little quiz that you you can do when you go to their website to help match you to uh, what kind of tree you want. You can select if you want a more full tree, something that's more slim, pre-lit, flocked or unflocked. They have lots of different options and so many beautiful trees to choose from. And now I'm going to go ahead and dive in to uh, the rest of the items that I have to show you all today. So the first thing we're going to dive into is everything that I got at TJ Maxx. I did do a shopping video there and I'm going to link all of the shopping videos down below. So if you want to go check those out when you are finished here, you can definitely do that. But I did end up finding a few really cute Ray Dunn mugs. I wanted to get a few for Christmas because I really don't have any. And the one that I know I have, it says Noel and the letters are in green. And I really just wanted red and white. So I did find this super cute one that is red with white ho ho ho's all over it. This one was $5.99 and I think that it's going to be super cute over with my hot cocoa slash coffee bar. I also picked up this one that says Santa's Helper. It's got the white background with the red letters and then it is red on the inside. And then it's got a cute little puppy on the back of it that has on a little elf hat. This one was $5.99. And the last Ray Dunn item that I picked up is this one that says Merry Christmas and it came with a little stir that goes through the handle. And I think that this one is going to be very convenient to have for drinking hot chocolate because I don't know about you all, but I feel like I always need to stir my hot chocolate as I'm drinking it. And I think it's so cool to have a mug that already has one that just sits with it. So I think this is going to be super fun to have this year and I'm very excited about it. The next thing that I picked up at TJ Maxx also kind of goes along with those mugs. I found these super cute espresso mugs that are gingerbread. I just thought that these were adorable. $12.99 for these. I'll probably end up putting one or two on the tiered tray and then maybe mixing them in at the coffee bar. We'll see what I end up doing with all of them, but I definitely could not pass them up because I thought they were super cute. And I happen to know that they also come in a matching salt and pepper shaker set. I have not personally found it, but my friend here on YouTube, Tori Flores, found one. She sent me a picture of them and they are so cute. So I'm definitely going to be on the hunt for them to see if I can find them before I decorate my kitchen. The next thing that I picked up is a candle. This one is Vanilla Bean Noel and this does smell a lot like the Vanilla Bean Noel from Bath and Body Works. This one's just a little bit sweeter than the one from Bath and Body Works. I haven't burned it yet so I don't know if it has the same kind of effect when it's burning but I loved the red jar that it's in. It's the Sand and Fog brand which I have never personally used but I know that there's a lot of people that love them and my favorite thing about this I always like to take the lids off and kind of like lean them against the candle so I'm always looking for some that have cute lids and this one came with this wooden one that says Jesus is the reason for the season 
This is definitely the main reason that I bought this candle because I just absolutely love this. It is so true and I felt like I didn't have enough stuff that mentions like Jesus is the reason for the season, different things like that. I don't have a nativity scene because I don't have a good place to put one. So I do try to find little touches like this that I can mix in with my decor. And I just absolutely loved this. And this one was $7.99, which I thought was a great price for a candle. If you all saw my Christmas decorating last year in the kitchen, then you know that I definitely try to go with a gingerbread theme in there. So I was trying to find some gingerbread touches to add in because I didn't have a lot last year. And I ended up finding these super cute gingerbread trees. They came in two different sizes. So I got two of each one. The smaller one was $7.99 and then the larger one was $9.99. And I think these are gonna be really cute. And I also have something that I picked up at Home Goods that's gonna go along with these that I'll show you all here in just a minute. Just a couple more items that I picked up at TJ Maxx and this one I was so excited about when I found it. I actually found this while I was filming a shopping video so you might have already seen it. But I got this rug. It just has the gingerbread people on it and I think that it is absolutely adorable. It was $24.99 and it's definitely going to be going in the kitchen in front of the sink and I think it's going to be super cute there. And the last thing that I picked up is quite possibly my favorite thing that I got at TJ Maxx. And that is this giant snowman pillow. This was only $19.99, which I thought was a great price because a lot of these more like cutesy throw pillows are usually more expensive than that. And I just absolutely love it. He is the perfect size to cuddle. I'm probably going to love having him on the couch. Um, but I think that he's really cute and I do decorate with a snowman theme in the living room so I think he's going to be so cute sitting on the couch with like some red and white throw pillows. I'm just absolutely obsessed. Real quick before we move into the home goods stuff I'm going to go ahead and show you all the Cracker Barrel stuff because it was sitting right behind my back and I'm afraid I'm going to end up crushing them. Um, but I did end up picking up some ornaments there and a salt and pepper shaker set. So I got this little gingerbread train salt and pepper shakers and these are 99 cents each. They always have super cute little salt and pepper shakers for 99 cents literally for every season. So if you're ever looking for some cute ones, definitely head to Cracker Barrel. And then for the ornaments that I picked up, they had these really pretty wooden engraved uh, trees that have the snowflakes on them. And these were 99 cents each. Again, super affordable. I feel like at Cracker Barrel, everything's either really cheap and affordable or it's really expensive. But sometimes you can find some amazing items for super low prices in there if you take a look around. And then I also picked up a couple of the like woodland animals. They had these little fox ornaments and I thought these were absolutely adorable. These were actually the first ornaments that I picked up for my tree in my bedroom this year, which if you haven't gotten a chance yet to check out part one of my haul where I showed you all of the Hobby Lobby stuff, I am doing a neutral and dark green tree with all of the woodland animals and I think it's going to be super cute. But these were $6.99 each, so definitely more expensive, but I definitely could not pass them up because I thought they were absolutely adorable. And I also picked up these little um, like hedgehogs, and they've got little pine cones all over them that are snowy. I just thought these were super cute, $5.99 each. And I did end up picking up three of each of these ornaments. All right, now I'm going to move into what I got at Home Goods. I did find some of it in store, some of it I ordered online. So I'm going to have to give you all the prices from my phone because they don't have the prices on those items. And anything that I ordered online that's still available, I'll be sure to link it down below as well as some links to the other items, especially my Amazon finds because I know I can give you all those links. I always try to put as many in the description box down below as I can. But if there's anything that's not linked, just leave me a comment and I will try to find it for you. But we're gonna go ahead and dive into home goods. So I did want to pick up a new shower curtain for my bathroom because I'm going super extra in there this year and I thought it would be fun to switch it out. So I picked up this one that has all of the trees all over it. I think this is gonna be really pretty in there. I can't wait to see how it turns out. And this was $16.99 for the shower curtain. I also picked up these super cute hand towels. They've got the dark green background and lots of white trees all over them. And this was a set of two hand towels for 
$12.99. I also picked up a set of hand towels for the kitchen. These are the Cupcakes and Cashmere brand. I tend to gravitate towards this brand. I've noticed that recently that I really love a lot of the items that they have. Um, and this was a set of three for $9.99. So you get two of the ones with the gingerbreads and then you get a solid red one. And I always love putting hand towels out in set of threes in the kitchen. So this is definitely gonna be perfect. A couple more items from Home Goods Online, and then I'll show you all what I got in store. So I wanted to pick up a new set of flannel sheets because I had a set for my old bed. They were queen size from Zulily, and I loved them. They kept me nice and warm during the colder months. And I now have a king size bed, so those wouldn't have worked anyway. And they also were for my old decor theme, which was silver and blue. And since I'm not doing that decor theme, I wouldn't have been able to use them even if I had the same bed. So I definitely wanted to pick up a new set, and I found these on Home Goods website. They are a green and white plaid, and I think that they're going to be really pretty. And this set was $49.99. It was cheaper for the smaller options like queen and full. I know they were a bit cheaper, um, but I know that these will probably last me forever. So I didn't mind splurging a little bit on sheets. I do typically get them on Amazon. The ones I typically use year round are from Amazon and I think they're always linked in the description box down below. I try to have some of my like everyday items down there, but they're about $29.99 from Amazon. And the last thing that I got online for home goods is this super cute ho 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 sign. This is probably going to go in the entryway area. I always like to have a lit up sign sitting up on the shelf. And let's see, I don't know if you all can really see that, but all of the little like white dots light up. And this was $29.99. And I will be completely honest with you all, a couple of these items I wasn't originally intending on getting. But Home Goods has where I think you had to spend like $150 to get free shipping. So I always tend to add extra items to make sure I get that free shipping because I really don't like paying for shipping. And now for what I got in store at Home Goods, a couple of these items you would have definitely seen in my shopping video. So I am also going to be decorating my mom's room this year. I'm doing an extra video in there and she's very excited for me to decorate. So we have been looking for some items for her room. We got some stuff on clearance last year and she wants me to use a red, white, and silver decor theme because she has gray furniture and she wants to tie in that gray into the decor. So we have been picking up a few items for her room and she fell in love with this little house um, at Home Goods, and we picked it up for her. It does light up. It's got a white roof, and then the house itself is gray. And this was, let's see, $12.99 for this one. For my room, I picked up three of these like champagne gold glitter trees. They were $14.99 each, and I have already paired this with some of the decor to see how it's gonna look. And it is so beautiful with the items that I got at Hobby Lobby. I literally cannot wait to get everything decorated. And my chest of drawers back here is completely covered in all of the decor that I got at Hobby Lobby. I've also got a pile down here on the floor that y'all might be able to see. I've definitely gone a little overboard with my decor this year, but I'm so excited. The next thing that I got at Home Goods is this little Santa Claus um, like container. I think this is going to be perfect for sugar or even hot cocoa mix to sit over at my coffee bar. I thought he was really cute. I wish they had also had a matching cream. I think that would have been really cute. Um, this was $6.99. And the last thing that I picked up at Home Goods is the item that's going to go along with those gingerbread trees that I got at TJ Maxx. And it is this beautiful gingerbread house. It has so much detail on it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And it does light up. Again, with this window, I don't think you all are really gonna be able to see that a whole lot. But I am definitely excited to decorate with this. I think it's gonna go on the island along with the trees. And I think it's gonna be really pretty. And this was $19.99, which I thought was a great price because most of the gingerbread houses, especially the larger ones, I've been seeing that they're $29.99 and $39.99. So I was very surprised when I saw this one and it was only $19.99. So I definitely had to grab it.
I almost forgot about these red pillows that I've had sitting back here. I did get these at the at home store. I wanted to find something that I could put out on my balcony because I do plan on decorating out there and I saw these. I don't know if these are technically like outdoor pillows but it does kind of have that fabric and our balcony is very protected so I don't expect them to get wet anyway. So I think they'll be okay out there and these were only $5.99 each so even if they do end up getting messed up sitting out there this Christmas season. I won't really mind because they were super affordable. So I did get two of those and I am very excited to decorate. I've never decorated out there for Christmas before. So I'm excited to see how it all turns out. Now we're moving into what I got at Kirkland's. I only got a few items there because by the time I got to Kirkland's, I had already spent so much money on Christmas decor and I definitely was trying to control myself and not go completely overboard. But I did pick up this Santa Claus pillow. I thought it was absolutely adorable. And this was $24.99. Another thing that I picked up there is actually going to go in my room. I had already picked up a blanket on Amazon and I found this one at Kirkland's and I have now returned the one from Amazon because I fell in love with this one so much. This is a knitted throw, but it is lined with a Sherpa material. I think that this is going to be so warm and so cozy. And this was $39.99. And when I went in there, all of the throws were, I believe, 30% off. So I did get this on sale. Just a couple more things from Kirkland's. I did grab this ornament that is an S that is like the engraved wood. I thought this was really pretty. And this one was $7.99. I think it's going to be a super cute addition to my tree, just having a little S on there. And the last thing that I grabbed is another candle. This one is butter and toffee scented. And I'm not 100% sure how much this candle was. It doesn't have the price on it. It doesn't have the price on it. But I fell in love with this one so much. I honestly didn't even care how much it was because it smells so good. Um, if you've ever had a maple nut goodie, that is exactly what this candle smells like. So I'm very excited to see if it's going to smell the same way when it's burning. And I really wish that they still made maple nut goodies because I really miss having them. They were a delicious little treat. All right, now I'm going to show you all what I got at Amazon because that is the next stack right here. And I'm going to give you all prices from my phone as I share everything with you all. So to go along with that shower curtain that I got at Home Goods, I thought it would be fun to get some new shower curtain rings. So I found these pine cone ones on Amazon. These are originally $14.99. They're currently on sale for $11.99, which I believe is the price that they were when I bought them. So hopefully they'll still be on sale if you all are interested in checking these out. And I also wanted to get some new um, throw pillow inserts. I wanted to get the next size up because I did get some larger accent pillows like this snowman over here. And I wanted to make sure my solid ones were large enough to accommodate them. So I'm not going to open these right now. These do come in extremely shrink wrapped, but these are my absolute favorite ones. They are the Utopia bedding brand. They come in pretty much every size you could possibly need for some throw pillow inserts. And I just love these so much. All of my throw pillows have these except for the lumbar ones because I have not found them from this brand in the lumbar size. Um, but I picked up the 22 by 22 size because it's pretty much the only size I don't have at this point. And these were $19.94 for a set of two. And I've had some of these throw pillow inserts for three years at this point, and they're all still in perfect condition. And I just think that they are great pillows. And it's also a money saver buying the pillow covers instead of buying throw pillows for everything, especially with the solid ones. And it also cuts back on how much I have to store. So I definitely recommend checking these out if you need some throw pillows. To go along with the larger throw pillows, I did also need to pick up some larger pillow covers and I knew I wanted red ones. I already have some velvet red ones. So to give it a little more texture, I did pick up these. Ooh, that is really bright on camera. But these are like the fluffy ones, 22 by 22. A set of two of them was $16.99. And I also grabbed some more of my favorite, like all time favorite pillow covers. They are the Mix Hug brand and they come in 
almost every color you could possibly need. The only color I've ever gone to buy that they didn't come in was black. So I had to get a different brand with my Halloween decor and I didn't really like the brand. They were okay. I was able to use them throughout the season. I think they'll last me a, a while but they are definitely not as good quality as the Mix Hug ones. So I definitely recommend those over any other brand that I've tried. But I wanted to get some new dark green ones for my bed for Christmas. And they come in this really nice packaging. And I'm just going to unzip this and go ahead and show you all what they look like. They're just a super soft velvet and they're really nice thick pillow covers. Like some of the ones that I've ordered on Amazon in the past, you kind of feel like they might rip open when you're putting them on the pillow. And I've never once felt that way with these. They are so well made. I just absolutely love them. But here's a close up of what it looks like. Super soft and for the 18 by 18, a set of two is $13.99. And again, these come in multiple different sizes all the way from lumbar sizes, the 12 by 20 up to the 26 by 26. So definitely lots of different options and tons of different colors. I picked up a couple more pillow covers for my room. I wanted to get some with trees on them to go along with the woodland theme that I'm doing in here. So for my bed, I grabbed this lumbar shaped one. This one was $8.99 for one. And I think this is going to be really cute. I think it's definitely going to go along with those dark green ones perfectly. And I also wanted to get one to go in my blanket basket. I have a white pillow that's in there, but I wanted to get something to go along with it seasonally. So I also picked up another one with trees on it. This one was also $8.99 and I got the 18 by 18. Here's what that one looks like. Super pretty. I'm definitely very excited to see how all of this comes together. The next thing that I grabbed is a new table runner for the coffee table. I have absolutely been loving putting the plaid ones on there. I started off with a cream one for fall. I switched that for a black one for the Halloween season. And, and now I wanted to replace that with a red one for Christmas. So I did order this one on Amazon. This one was $8.99 and I unfortunately had to order a different brand than what I've been getting because they were sold out of the red ones. So hopefully I end up liking this one as much as I did the others, but I'll be sure to link these and the other brand down below. So if you want to check out the brand that I know for sure I love, I'll have that down there as well. I'm not sure if they have the red one back in stock yet, but it did come in a few different color options. And the last thing that I picked up on Amazon is a new blanket. I also grabbed a plaid Sherpa blanket. I have also been using the plaid Sherpas for the last couple seasons and I've just loved having them mixed in on the couch. So this will either end up on the couch or out on the balcony. I'm not 100% sure yet because I do already have a snowman blanket for the couch and I feel like they're not really going to go well together. And since I'm doing the snowman in the living room, it makes sense to use the snowman one. So we'll see where this one ends up, but it is super thick, super cozy. I think this is going to be a very warm, nice blanket, especially for when it gets really cold out. And this one is $29.99 and they do currently have a 10% off coupon. So hopefully that is still on there when you all are watching this. And the last store I have stuff from is Walmart. I have not done a shopping video there yet because every time I go, either the store that I'm shopping at has super loud music playing to where I wouldn't be able to actually film in there. I would have to have the video silent and then maybe do voiceovers on it, which is not my preferred way of filming. And then the other locations that I've tried to go to just haven't had the whole collection out. So if y'all are still interested in seeing a Walmart shop with me video, leave me a comment down below and that'll let me know if I should go and try to figure out a way to film it. Just wasn't sure if that's something that you all would want to see since it's not a store I typically go to, but I wouldn't mind filming there if you all want to see it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all what I got there. I grabbed a couple items to go outside, some stuff for my room, and then a bunch of new items for my mom's room. So for outside, I wanted to pick up something cute for the balcony, and I also wanted to pick up something to go by the front door. So for the balcony, I picked up this snowman because I do have a snowman pillow I think I'm going to be putting out there. And I thought this would be really cute. This was $16.88 and it's three and a half feet tall, which I think is going to be a good size. And for the front door, they had 
one of the Highlander cows and I just absolutely fell in love with that. I thought it was so cute. I also have a little like stuffed cow that I got at Hobby Lobby. So I'm kind of debating putting that one out on the balcony and put the little cow out there and put this one out there and then have the snowman by the front door. I'm not sure exactly how I'll end up doing that yet, but I'll figure it out when I go to decorate. I'm super excited to see how that turns out. And then for my room, I knew that I wanted to pick up some garland to go on the back of my bed. I already have some garland from them that I've gotten in previous years that I love. And I just use the picks from Hobby Lobby to stuff in them or put some ornaments on them, add some lights. And they always turn out really cute. So I grabbed one of the flocked ones. This is a nine foot garland for $15.88. These are also the same ones that I use in the living room around the door frames and also in the kitchen up above the cabinets. So if you need a good, more affordable garland, definitely check out your local Walmart because it is so much cheaper to grab these and add in your decor than it is to grab one of the pre-decorated ones at Hobby Lobby. Those can be upwards of like $100, which is crazy expensive. And then I also picked up some stuff to go on my mom's tree. We needed some ribbon to go along with that red, white, and silver decor theme. So I found this one right here that has snowmen on it. It's got the silver background and then it's got the little snowmen that are wearing red hats and scarves. I thought this was absolutely adorable. And then we found a couple really cute ornaments. So we grabbed this one that's like the plastic snow globe that the front's cut open and then it's got the little snowman and tree inside of it. And this was $1.98. The ribbon was $4.97. I just realized I forgot to give you all the price on that. I also grabbed four of these little present ornaments. These were also $1.98 and I grabbed four of these as well. I'm not sure if I said that. And the last thing that I grabbed is this set of 20 silver snowflake ornaments for $3.47. I'm really excited to see how this all comes together. I've done red and white trees and I've done um, like silver and blue, but I've never done red, silver, and white. So I'm really curious to see how it turns out. And I really hope that you all are excited to be diving in to the Christmas decorating season. I know I'm definitely excited to do all of the decorating and I hope that you all enjoy following along as I decorate my entire apartment. I hope that you enjoyed watching this haul video today. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. And don't forget to hit that subscription button down below to join my YouTube family. I would love to have you a part of it. I hope that you all have a great day and a great week and I will see you all next time when we start tackling all of the decorating for the 2023 season. Have a great day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!